Hey, YouTubers, this is Old John. Uh, it's kind of windy out here. We're going to have tornadoes maybe later today here on uh, May 30th, uh, 2013 in Missouri. We're kind of in the edge of Tornado Alley. We don't think too much of it, though, and I've got a, a walkout in the basement, so I'll be protected. Anyway, I'm going to show you today how to take your uh, mower deck off of your John Deere tractor. My John Deere is a, a 130. It's automatic. And uh, I bought a used. It's about four years old. I've always wanted a John Deere since people call me John Deere all the time. That's a, that's a joke. But anyway, um, pretty simple to take the mower deck off. That's what I like about John Deere's. They're easy to get to. And they're durable and they have some good quality uh, materials in them. But you first need to raise the level of the uh, deck to the highest level right here on your deck mechanism. And then you slide two by fours underneath the deck. You're going to need a wrench, 15 millimeter, to turn the nut that holds the tightener on the drive belt because we have to take it off. And there's four clips that you remove and then front clip and that's it. So we're going to um, now look at removing the clips. Okay, we're going to lower the deck now with the deck adjusting lever here because we want the tension off of the brackets that we're going to unhook from the clips. Because if they're in tension, then you're not going to be able to get the clips out. So we lower it. And then we start at the back. You can start at the back or the front. But you'll see there are clips here, and forgive my unsteady hand, but I'm 65 years old. There's two clips here. You know, just simply pull out these clip rings and take the washer and the nut off. or the washer I should say. The other one has clips on both ends of it. It's a long piece and I like to take the one that connects up to the underside. So we pull that out. the washer off. Okay, we go around to the other side and do the exact same thing. Okay, now we have to, um, and probably should have done this at first, but it doesn't matter. Um, there's a pulley here that the main drive belt goes to, and it takes a 15 millimeter socket to loosen it. Just put it on it. Basically, turn it clockwise. And then that loosens the tension on the belt. And you can slip the belt off. Tackle 
the, the most contrary part of getting this off, and that's this front um, clip that's on here. It's a metal piece that goes on the front. And it's got a clip right here, so I'm going to take that off now. Okay, we've got this clip on the side removed. Try to show you a little better angle of it here. See it? It goes up and attached to the bottom, and I just disconnect it there. Then we got to, and we got our belt loose. You can see it laying here. And the tricky part, like I said, is this front piece that attaches blade to the front, or the deck to the front, and it has a little fancy um, clip here that goes on. It's a little different. It's a little tricky to get off. I use a, I just use pliers and a screwdriver to kind of work on it, get it removed. Okay, so everything's loose now. There's the clips. I took off on this side and the washers, two on this side, two on the other side. Now we want to slide the deck out because it's loose and we're going to take these two by fours that are on each side and slide them perpendicular and then use them to slide the deck on. Okay, we've put the uh, boards, the two by fours, underneath the mower deck and you want to put them on their sides so that way the mower drops down as low as it can clearing all these brackets and so forth. These brackets will try to uh, get in the way so you want to make sure they're all removed and you just simply go around. I like to go around on the discharge sides of the mower and just start sliding it out. There again these brackets will try to get in the way. So you have to free them up. And you just keep tugging. And we basically now have the mower deck out. Try to give you a little further view away of it. See the belt? Dry belt's loose on one end. You don't have to take the belt completely off, just loose for where it attaches to the, the engine. These are the brackets close up that we disconnected that are on an angle. And they're actually connected to the deck and then to the underside. I like to take the top, the top one off and just leave it on the deck. You could take the other one off if you want, but I think they'll get in the way when we're trying to um, pull it out. Underneath, you can see now the brackets where it was connected. And now we're ready to stand it up.
get up on its side. on the side and you want to clean it. But you can see there's quite a bit of grass collected. This is a 48 inch mower deck. It has three blades. And now I'll just scrape the accumulated grass out. Some mowers have, well, and this mower has ports, but I don't have the nozzle connection. You can attach your your um, hose, water hose to it, and then run the blades with water pressure inside. I have a couple of neighbors who have John Deere's, and they say it's, it's debatable how much good it does. Uh, so I prefer this way, and then this way you can really make sure it's cleaned out good and and uh, put a little sharpening touch to your, your blades if they're getting dull. But that's basically the long and the short of it. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, it's probably best to remove your spark plugs connections when you're doing this. Of course you just raise your lid and pull the uh, Spark plug off here. And there's two, one on each side for mine. Mine's an LA, an L130 automatic, 23 horsepower. Remove that just in case, because when you're dealing with that drive belt, there's a slight possibility you could turn the engine over. Not very likely, but hey, it's best to be safe than sorry. Okay, YouTubers, I've cleaned the more deck pretty much. Just scraped it off. Use a putty knife for and you can blast it with some water. I don't want to put too much water on it. This has quite a bit of corrosion. This winter I'll be taking this all down and putting the yellow paint back on that you can see there. Um, I also you can see how my how this is standing up. I put a just a simple, about a two foot long, two by four, you know, with a 45 on the bottom edge, and just stand up the deck. That way you can work on it more easily. So I've got my uh, two by fours laid out, and basically I'll just tip this back over, and of course it's got these rollers on it which make it easy to uh, kind of roll it, flip it over and then just obviously lay it down and then slide it back under on these boards and then just reverse the connections and that's it. So hope you enjoyed this video and come back to my channel for more do-it-yourselfers, a little bit of everything engineering, religion, uh, how-to. So, see you then.